Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to be uh, covering uh, some of the non-invasive things I, I go over with um, heating maintenance. I was going to cover just the simple non-invasive things first, and then the next video I was going to go into the gas pressure, uh, using the manometer to check gas pressure, checking the meter, clocking the meter, and different more invasive uh, measures to look deeper into the system. All right, tell me what you think, and... Thanks for watching. See, I'm just doing a quick inspection here. Uh, furnace, fall maintenance. Got my uh, field piece probes in. Just got my chem rise. So far, we got 16 degrees. Pretty low so far, but I'm gonna checking my fittings here. I even like to check my regulator weep. Make sure that's not leaking. So that's gonna have to tighten that up. That's it there, that's what's leaking. Got one. That's fine, just tighten that up. We've got a 22 degree rise so far. Been good, been running maybe about four to five minutes. I like to use soap bubbles just to, I like to use soap bubbles just to verify where the leak is. I know it's gonna be here. Get it there. Looks good. But you can see it here. But yeah, pretty big one. Let me just go ahead and check all of them. You can actually smell it too. back it up a little bit and then tighten it tighten it down all the way
perfect. Fairly new system. I'm just going to go ahead and clean this flame sensor. What I like to use is the back side, the smooth side of the emery cloth, just to kind of get the surface debris off. Wasn't too bad actually, wasn't bad at all. A lot of times it'll be a powdery kind of surface. Another big thing I like to do, not so much on this newer system, it shouldn't be an issue, but on older systems, clean this here out. of wire. This is a much bigger port than usual but so I can use a nail or a screw for this one but it's clean. Six volts. On the 
this hot side of the transformer should be, so that's good. Yeah, and another thing you always want to consider when um you know you share space with a water heater as well, make sure all the returns and everything are sealed properly. Make sure there's no in intrusion. This should be a lot this should be fine because this is a vented attic. But you just want to check your draft, make sure this is actually drafting up because essentially if it's back drafting, not drafting properly, it could pull in, um, if this was a more sealed space, it could pull in, uh, could put the room under negative pressure and cause this furnace, the water heater uh, to back draft. And you can pull in CO gases into the house, into your actual uh, system. So it's always something to think about. But like I said, this isn't too much an issue with the um, drafting. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.